Well, here you are. You're looking at this, and you want to see this. And this quick tip will give you a look on how you can remove and replace your kingpin. The first step in breaking down the spindle is removing those old kingpins. We use an H-frame press to push out those old pins. You may be able to use a drift and a hammer to drive your kingpins out. If you don't have the equipment to do this, get with a local speed or machine shop and they can take care of this for you. Next, you want to remove those old bushings or have your machine shop remove them. This is what you should have in a new kingpin kit. New kingpins, bushings, bearings, shims, and grease zerks. Your new brass bushings need to be pressed in the spindle. If you use a machine shop to press out the kingpins, they can insert your new bushings for you as well. Your brass bushings have journals, allowing the grease to migrate all around your new kingpin. Here's a great do-it-yourself solution to the problem of reaming your new bushings for a precision fit of the kingpin. The Chadwick and Trefethen adjustable reamer makes it easy ream your bushings to the precise inner diameter you need for your new kingpin. This reamer will work from 13 16 to 7 8. If you have larger kingpins, check Chadwick and Trefethen's website to find the correct reamer for your needs. A good set of calipers will help you determine and set your reamer to the exact diameter. This is important Chances are you won't be able to install your kingpins until you ream to the proper size. The kingpins should be able to be pushed in by hand without any slop or looseness. This is all done by hand. Secure the spindle on a vise, lubricate the reamer as you turn in a clockwise rotation. Refer to the reamer instructions for proper use. A link to the Chadwick and Trefethen's website will be listed in the comment section below this video. Your new kingpin bearings have a call out for the top, an important tip for proper installation. You may need to use a shim to take up any slot between the spindle bearings and eye beam. You're done. It looks harder than it really is. For more information, check out djmsuspension.com.